Most people may not be aware of the tremendous infrastructure that provides the water that they use every day. We have over 1,400 dams, we have thousands of miles of aqueducts and pipelines and pumping stations. And most of the people in California live in places where it doesn't rain enough to provide the water they need. The water falls in the mountains, it falls in the north. The snowpack in the Sierra is a major part of our water storage system, storing up to one-third of our surface water supplies. When we look at future projections of snowpack under global warming scenarios, looking out about 100 years, is that we may lose maybe half to 90% of the typical snowpack that we see on the ground on April 1st, end of spring, which is kind of the maximum of the snow accumulation. Now, if you don't ski, that might not seem all that impressive, but this has huge implications on our water. During the winter, a lot more of the precipitation that falls is going to fall as rain instead of snow. That's going to run off more quickly, potentially increasing flooding issues in the winter. If you said that we were going to only get maybe uh, 10 or 20 percent of the available supply from Northern California because of global warming and the effects in the high Sierras, then we may have to look harder at seawater desalinization and development of other innovative ways of recovering water here in Southern California. We expect water demand uh, to grow uh, quite a bit in the coming years, and it's, it's unclear now how we'd be able to meet that demand, let alone if we lose a significant portion of the snowpack due to global warming. Water development in California has come at a great cost, not just a financial cost, but an uh, environmental cost. There's been a near total collapse of the riverine ecosystems of California's Central Valley and the Bay Delta due to the damming of upstream rivers. Well, the Delta is an enormous wetland where all, where all the rivers that drain the Great Central Valley come together. It's an inland estuary, very rare. It was so rich when the Europeans first arrived that when the birds were startled, the sky would darken. Extraordinarily rich nursery for many kinds of fish that live in the ocean. The Delta ecosystem is on the verge of absolute collapse. You can't take water out of a system without it creating havoc. Estuaries are the basic nursery for so many fish and, and so many of the resources of the state that um, we can't allow those estuaries to die. We can't. I can foresee two possible scenarios for the future. If we are able to limit our greenhouse gas emissions and keep the loss of the snowpack down to say 50 percent, we may be able to cope with that loss through use of alternative management strategies and technologies. If on the other hand uh, we're unable to significantly limit our greenhouse gas emissions and global warming means that we lose up to 90 percent of the snowpack, as a civil engineer who's worried about this sort of problem, I can't really imagine how we would cope with that loss. I've chosen to really focus the last few years on global warming issues because they're going to have such a tremendous impact on water resources, on the flooding we'll experience, and on the civil engineering structures that are going to be needed to cope with them, on water supply systems and how those are going to have to change in response to changing water supply. Well, I think global warming is going to be a serious problem for everybody. Uh, obviously for the whole planet, and here in California, it has the potential of having some dramatic uh, changes in the climate. And so that's why we at the agency really promote renewable energy, uh, uh, water use efficiency, energy conservation, because we all need to reduce our impacts on the environment.